Okay. Luisa, hola. Hola, amiga. Hi, how are you, Mark? I'm fantastic. How's life in beautiful Mexico today? Um, it is really good. Um, it's hot. Hot? It's summer. Hot? Yeah, way hot. Summer, summertime. So was it 40 degrees today? It was like uh, 32, but the sensation is like 38 or something like that. So it was Whoa, crazy. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're at the other end of the road here because we've got freezing temperatures. It's just about to start raining and it's freezing cold in Australia where I am. So you're in a good place. No, and I am jealous of you. Of you. <laughs> you're jealous. <laughs> yeah, ah. Trust me, it's really funny. You'd rather here. be in the cold, uh, cold place. We can switch. Switch over. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. We'll do that. <laughs> Now I wanted to get you on video because we're going to we're doing a bit of a test today because we're going to be taking our podcast shows online shortly to the video world which we're all excited about aren't we? Yeah, we are. It's going to be a good change, right? It is. Yeah, going to be a good change and I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about the shows but also to welcome you officially to the team because we haven't done that on video yet. So it's very good to have you on board and you've been working really hard already in the time that you've been working with me and doing a fantastic job so thank you very much and welcome aboard the official team now thank you so much it's really really nice to be here and i love working with you and the team and yeah so it is really really amazing and i'm enjoying every second brilliant i didn't pay her to say that either folks <laughs> she's off her, own, uh, off her own back yeah it is so real. Uh, We've got, we've got some pretty exciting podcasts going on and I was just telling you before that um, I've got like two weeks or two and a half weeks booked out now with podcast shows to do with people all around the world. So that's really exciting. Global Travel Channel, that's how you and I first connected through that show. So what do you like about the Global Travel Channel? Yeah, well, first of all, I love travel. So it was like the big one for me and I love hearing stories about people traveling around the world, different places, different culture, food, everything. It's, yeah, it's amazing to hear all the experiences from, from people around the world every time. Yeah, it is really good. And I'm getting more and more excited every time I talk to people because despite the fact that I've done a lot of travel myself, these people are always giving us new insights to a lot of these places. And probably like you as well, you've probably been to a lot of these places that you hear people talking about, but seeing it through and listening through it, somebody else's eyes and ears is it's different, isn't it? You know? Yeah, it is because it's not the same. It's never going to be the same for, uh, for different people. And you see things, places, countries, culture, everything, you see it different. Even the food, right? We don't need the same yeah. thing. So yeah, it's, it's amazing to hear uh, from a place that maybe you love, but it's a different part and it, it's always like you want to go back again and see yeah. what they are saying. Yeah, it's yeah absolutely. Yeah. Talking about food, we even cooked up agua chili on our show, <laughs> didn't we, from uh, beautiful Mexico? Yeah, my favorite is Is that Mexican a dish you have every day, is it? Do you eat agua chili every day? Um, actually, I had, yeah, I made it for dinner <laughs> today. So you have for dinner? <laughs> yeah, you I'm go. guilty. Yes, I did it for today. So, yeah. We've got to give a shout out to Dion, our fabulous uh, chef on the show, because he cooked up that great dish. In fact, we've got a show coming up with Dion this week. So it's food time again on the Global Travel Channel. And I won't tell you what country Dion's going to be cooking something up from this week. It's going to be a surprise. Yeah. But I can tell you, I think it's going to be something seafood. So yeah. if you're a seafood, get ready for the Global Travel Channel food series this week coming up on the show. So what about the, we just recently started um, the Global Business Podcast and you had just come on board when this was getting started. So what do you think of this show? For me, it's a big lesson. It's really outside of my comfort zone or something like that because I'm, I, I have a business. I started my blog, uh, I don't know, two, two and a half years ago, but it's different, right? Because um, mm. I work only by myself and now I'm working with you and, and it's it's way different to see business um, from the point of view that they share. And especially in this time, during this COVID-19 situation, it's really, really amazing to hear how people is dealing with this um, situation in business because it's not the same for everybody, it's not the same for every country and we really, 
have a lot of, of things to learn from that point because we can make it better and better. Yeah, absolutely. And they're all really good points. I, I've noticed on the uh, listener downloads we're getting on the show, it's been extraordinary how many people are listening to the show already after only 13 episodes. And I think, you know, we, we started the show because we wanted to get people to share information about how they're dealing with navigating their way out of, you know, these treacherous waters associated with COVID-19. And a lot of people are coming up with incredibly innovative ideas. And I love hearing these innovative ideas because, you know, it just shows that it doesn't matter how difficult things can get. There's always somebody out there that's got a solution to a problem. And, yeah, it's really great listening to all these uh, guests that are coming on the show talking about these innovative ideas, the new strategies they're coming up with for their businesses. You know, a lot of these leaders are very positive people. They're people that are not going to give up on their business and they're going to fight and they're going to change things the way they're doing it. So, I'm really pumped up about the show and it's um, obviously doing very well to start off with. It's your job now to keep it going so everybody <laughs> keeps uh, keeps watching it. So um, our third show, and we just started it. I think we've only done two episodes so far. It's called Humanity Inspires. And the goal here is really to have, you know, deep and meaningful conversations with people. That's what I'm really into. And I'm not saying the other shows are not that they are, but this show allows us to talk about everything and anything that's going on in people's lives. And from the first two shows that I've already done, I've, I'm really excited. I've got another one coming up tomorrow. And yeah, it's just really interesting. What are your thoughts about Humanity Inspires and what that show's potential has? Well, uh, when I just started, my favorite was Travel Channel. It was like, yeah, all about the Global Travel Channel was my favorite. But now that I... We started with this. Humanity inspires change everything for me because, yeah, it is a deep talk with people about anything they want to share. And mm. we all have a lot of things to share with, with the world, right? We all have a past and we all have a journey that we're living. So, yeah, for now, it, that is my favorite because it opened. Oh. It's become yeah. your favorite show. Yeah, oh. it is. It <laughs> okay. opens your eyes from a lot of point of views on, on how we live and how we see things and how we uh, see problems or how we solve mm. it. And yeah, it's, mm. it's my favorite for now. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we'll come back and ask you in six months' time and see whether it's still your favorite show or you've switched again to one of the others, maybe. Or the new one, maybe. <laughs> no, there's no more. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> three, three podcast. I promise everyone, no more shows, three podcasts. That's it. No matter okay. what happens, we're not doing any more. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And I, I think it's really exciting because we've got something now for everybody, really, haven't we? In our shows, we've got you know a show for people who love travel. We've got a show for people who are into business, and they love that world. And now we've got a show that's really about you know. I don't want to use the word entertaining. I think that's overdone, but I, I guess just really deep conversations. I think that's the best way to sum it up, really. So you've come on board to help me out and the team out with the social media side of, you know, doing all the shows that we're doing. What what are some of the challenges that we have with developing social media for our platforms? Uh, it, is a, it is a big deal. It's, I'm not going to say it is it's easy because it is not. And... Uh, we are not dealing just with one social media. We're dealing with a lot of work in there. But it's amazing because it, it makes me realize that every social media works different. It's, it's yeah. not the same. And if you're talking about different podcasts, it works different again. So it's, mm. it's really mm. amazing to, to make that. I just started, but I hope I can make way better. <laughs> and well, I'm sure you will. Yeah. And, and it is really nice to, to see that way because it's not the same. And you're not talking to the same kind of people. It, it's different. So I'm really enjoying um, uh, sharing the, the things that we are working on different platforms and different social media. It's, it's really amazing for me. Mm. Have, you, have you seen a difference between the way that you know, you did an, you did with your own company in Mexico about social media versus with something that's got much more of a global aspect to it. Do you, do you think there's anything different there or is, is social media the same everywhere in the world? No, it's not the same. 
No, it's not the same because the, in some part of the world, Instagram is like the big deal. In some others, it's Twitter. So it's not the same. And you have to focus on every social media because it's different from every part of the world. We don't see the same. We don't uh, check the same things. We don't share in the same way. It depends on where you are and what you do. So no, it's not the same. It changed. Yeah, great. Well, I'm really looking forward to working with you, as I already am now. It's it's really good. We we have, uh, I think, a very good complementary relationship in terms of you know a lot of stuff about the things that I'm hopeless at and, quite <laughs> frankly, don't want to know too much about. And, um, you know, I, I just get behind the microphone and talk. So you've got the hardest job, I'm sure of it. So <laughs> no question at all. But, uh, no, it's really great to have you on board. It's taken a lot of stress out of my life. And, um I'm excited to be working with someone again and not doing everything by myself. So I think in terms of, you know, you're adding a lot of value, but you're also fun to work with. And I think we're going to make this really, really cool together. So thank you for coming on board. And uh, yeah, and entrusting me with your um, process because, you know, you've given up a really fantastic travel blog that you used to do in Mexico. Um, you've put all your faith in me and what, what I'm building with this organization. So um, I'm really grateful for that. So thank you very much for doing it. Yeah, thank you because I... I know your work and I know what you're doing and I really love and I admire what you're doing. So if I'm, I'm in love with the project, so it's really easy. I'm not saying that I, I don't love what I was doing, but it was different and I love your work and I love what you, what you are creating. So mm. I love being on board. That's okay, that. cool. Well, it's now up to uh, us to get everybody else to love our work <laughs> and yeah. to get everybody else connected to it so if you're out there and you're watching this video today thank you very much for taking the time to do that check out the global travel channel podcast show check out the global business podcast show and check out the new one humanity inspires and find luisa on uh social media have a chat to her ask her about mexico ask her about all the great things she loves food by the way so if you want to ask her about food uh, she'll tell you all the great spots to go and visit in Mexico if you want to go over there and have a holiday. Um, she's in Cancun, so one of the big tourist places in Mexico. And you'll be hearing a lot more from Luisa as we carry on our journey together in developing these wonderful podcast shows. So we'll see you again soon, Luisa. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Too. Bye for now. Bye.